The Senate has commenced the process of amending the Act establishing the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, to guarantee security of tenure of its chairman. One of the main objectives of the bill is to subject the termination of the appointment of the EFCC chairman to the confirmation of the National Assembly and to establish continuity and consistency in the anti-graft agency. Details in this report. The piece of legislation sponsored by Minority Whip after Senate Chukuka Otazi was deliberated on after the lead debate in plenary. The Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission ICPC and Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit, the National Assembly ensured that the headship had security of tenor by ensuring that their appointments and removal, as the case may be, were subject to the confirmation of the Senate. That was not the case with the EFCC. Therefore, in this proposed amendment, it is intended to bring EFCC in conformity with the other two anti graft agencies of government. While supporting the passage of the proposed bill, a cross-section of lawmakers believed that it will promote professionalism and enhance the capacity of the EFCC. You shouldn't just remove the leadership of an agency because you feel that uh, he will not dance to your tune. We have a situation in this country where the leadership of EFCC was unceremoniously removed because of perceived political differences. But in this case, Mr. President, uh, it will not promote professionalism. If we restrict the chairmanship of EFCC to only staff of EFCC, we may be limiting ourselves. Because the situation may arise where we have a capable hand who has done similar things in another in a similar agency, maybe outside the country, and we may want to bring him to come and improve on the agency we have in Nigeria. By then, we must have limited ourselves. In his submission, the Senate president said the argument about it, if it was right or not to have an outsider, had the EFCC had been on for quite some time. Let's tie down this thing properly when we come to public hearing. Or the committee should work hard to ensure that while we are picking, looking for somebody from inside, it should, that person, when picked, should be able to survive should be able to have the support of his colleagues to succeed. Every argument has something to, to offer, but I believe that we should encourage people from inside to grow to be the leaders of the commission. After consideration, the Senate Committee on Anti-Corruption and financial crimes was handed a four-week timeline for further legislative action. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.